All right, everyone, how are we doing? Tonight we are here in Amritsar, Punjab, India, and we're going to be heading out for some nighttime eats. We're going to get some Punjabi street food, some proper Indian food. So we're in a bit of a mad busy area. We've got a few things we want to try. Some fish fries on the menu. Leishi's looking forward to the fish fry. I'm, wet. I'm so hungry. And then maybe just some snacks. I don't know. Maybe a lassie. Yeah. Lassie. Good, yeah. So uh, let's do it. It's a bit of a madness. Let's embrace it. So instantly we've got two spots we want to check out. We've got a little chart shop here, a Rajasthani spot actually. So some proper Northern Indian snacks. And then across the road, there's a sweet shop that looks really busy. Now we're gonna have sweet second, snack first. So let's go in here, see what we can get. Now we've never even been to Rajasthan, excuse me, sorry. We've just eaten, what, Pani Puri, maybe a few different chats, we don't know. So we're gonna see what they've got. They've got Bel Puri, Dahi Puri, which is with the yogurt. Golgape, which is just Pani Puri. Dahi Bala, that looks good. What is Dahi Bala? Oh, it looks, smells well good, it smells so good. Maybe we should get two things. I want Dahi Puri. Dahi Puri. I think maybe we should get Dahi Bala as well. You think? Yeah. You're a bit overlord. It looks better than the bell puri. I think yogurt's good, isn't it? Dahi puri, dahi bala. Yeah. Okay, we'll get those two. Bala papri. Bala papri. I don't know, it looks like it's got pomegranate seed in. Everything looks too good, doesn't it? And it so smells so good. I think maybe in the dahi bala, they use these. What, are these like potato and lentil bowls? Yeah. We'll find that out. And then it looks to me like that end one is maybe a bit of a soup. I could be wrong. I think we're on the front for Indian snacks. Busy. Let's wait our turn. You can see they're doing flipping, bagging loads of orders up. Oh, our mate's on the, the pani puri. Looks good, that. Golgape. Oh, you have to get a ticket first. For this map. I think we've been doing it all wrong. I think you have to get a ticket from this man. Tell him what you want. Maybe pay, and then you give them your ticket and they make it. We don't know what we're doing. We're learning. <laughs> yeah, someone could have told us, yeah. Instead of stirring at us, that we're idiots. Here we are. Hello, sir. Please can we get one dahi bala and one dahi puri? Let's see how much this is. Do we pay now? Pay first. One dahi puri? Yes. One dahi bala? Yes, please. <laughs> one forty. One forty. Pay now? Yeah, yeah okay. okay. One forty. And Seventy. Say fish to the counter. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So that is how you do it, people. You get your little ticket. And then you give it the man and he makes it fresh. Oh, hello everyone. So there we go. Give our mate the receipt. Now we just wait, eh? Just by the side. I'm sorry, sir. I'm standing on everyone. Oh, gulab jamun. This is a traditional, classic sweet that we've never tried. And he also has jalebi. Sweet second. Usually, we always end up eating sweets first today. It's not happening. Leisha's retrieving the goods here. There they are. This is the dahi puri. It looks really good, doesn't it? I just have a watch for my second one. Oh, it looks good. Does it look good? So, when you give them that slip, they make it so fast. They are, it's like proper, just rapid turnover. Here we go. Oh, look at that leash. That looks phenomenal. That looks good. This looks like a proper meal. What's going on there? What is in that? Let's have a look. It's got ginger on top. There's loads of, that, of yogurt, really ginger, good. coriander. Is it tamarind that sort of like sauce? It shouldn't even got Maybe. It's tamarind, isn't it? And then these bowls of mysterious goodness. We'll find it's out like, what that's they a are. Big as well for is it heavy? Yeah. Okay. Well, should we eat them here? Yeah, yeah. Unless you want to move somewhere a bit. Quite here, right? Yeah, yeah. Come on, I'm actually starving to get a spread on this. So we've done our classic trick of ordering two dishes, and then like none of us can hold the food and try it. But <laughs> we're gonna do some teamwork. So Leisha's gonna try one of the dahi puri. Wow, that's, that's it's a big massive. Yeah. Surely, hot dog. Sorry, everyone. Cheers. Oh gosh. How's that? Good stuff. Heaven. <laughs> Too much in your mouth, yeah? Is that not potatoes? In the bottom. 
<laughs> so we have had this before, but it's, this is so much better. Well done. So what I'll do is, I think I'll try this one while while we're here. Please just try the dahi puddy. Like I'll try this. It's got so many textures in it. Really? Yeah, this is different. This is softer. So, there we go. Mystery. You'll have to let us know what this is. It's a big mouthful. I mean, absolutely wonderful. Fresh. Mm, so fresh. Like, it's cold, but it's super fresh and light. I don't know what's in it. It's definitely ginger and coriander on top. I can taste the ginger and coriander. Then we got all that yogurt. But then this cake is super soft and airy. It's like a really light, fluffy cake. I'm gonna have to just try one of these <laughs> quickly. Really, really good. And then we'll snack these before they all go soggy. It's right. Look at that, everyone. Oh, it's so good. It's sweet as well, that other dish. It's like, is it like some sort of sweet tamarind business? Let us know. Next level, though. I think it's the textures in that for me. Just do it. So good. That is such a good food. It's fresh, it's crunchy, but then it's soft at the same time if you get the potato afterwards. Oh, it's so good. Really good. I'm going to try this. Yeah. Kind of so I think I'll knock camera off now, and then you'll see us when I maybe we'll go across the road for some sweets or go somewhere else. Here's your quick opinion, Leash. I can't have that big bowl in my mouth either. It's quite a lot of um, snack. Like a little, uh, little assortment. That is also really good. But that's, that's the winner for me. Alright, there we go. Fucking Northern Indian street snacks. Here we go, living it up. Yeah, Russian mix. Honestly though, if you know me, you know I love. You know, like arrangements with like bits of all, bit, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Fresh, picky tea and that. So I've never seen this one before. When you're finished, you put your little plate in here for them to wash after. So there we go, Rajasthani chat since 1995. Hold tight. Good that. Maybe we'll get a sweet. Okay. 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 Okay, how many times can we do it? Okay. Okay. So, is this sweet shop good? Yes, it's a good shop. Is it a good one, yeah? Recommend? Okay. Yes, very popular. Popular? 90 days. 90? 90 days. 90 days? Okay, we will go there. Okay. Enjoy. Okay, bro. Nice to meet you, yeah? Thank you. Nice to meet you. Character. Hello. Character, eh? So, we'll have a look at this. When we can cross. Every time I go across the road, someone just appears on my bike, going at that. <laughs> oh, it's hey, hey, this must be all right if there's a dog here, patiently waiting for the sweets. Hello. So, let's wait our turn, and then we'll get stuck in here. Everything is fresh here, actually. I can see everything's being made fresh. Oh, Jalebi is making them fresh. Hello sir, how are you? Yeah. Are you making jalebi? Yeah, yeah. Jalebi? Yes, jalebi? Jalebi, okay. Let's get some jalebi. Let's get some uh, jalebi and gulab jamun. Can we please try a little, little? Just a tiny bowl. So we'll get some of these fresh jalebi. That is okay. Don't worry. No, it's okay. Okay, this more okay. You're the boss. So we'll try these first. Oh, they're so they, they're proper fresh. You can oh, see you can see he's making them here. He's got his bag, so he pipes it in. This is the um, what is inside? Is it just like pure this, sugar? This is oh. pure ghee. Pure ghee. Wow. This is the ghee. This is the sugar syrup. Okay. Oh gosh. So the pure ghee, and then they just bathe in sugar syrup in there. I don't know if you can see. They're just they're taking a big fat bath in there. Look at this. Thank you, sir. Go on, leash. Oh, they're hot, but I'm gonna go for Let it. me get one as well. So, jalebi is literally like the sweetest thing on earth. 
she is. Oh, 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 oh. Bad build. Right. Super country rock. They're deceiving me because when you bite through them, it's like ooze with juice, sugar syrup. But the actual jalebi itself is like crunchy and like a crisp. You've never had them that fresh. And sometimes, so they, they vary in colour. Sometimes they're bright orange. Yeah, I know. So I'm guessing maybe that's because they've, they've got something artificial in for that colour. Food colour. That's like a really natural colour. Oh. I like them. Oh. Well, I'm telling you, you're not getting fresher than that. Me oh, not. These are like all the things I've wanted to eat so long. So I've got my it's a blowout. Like, oh. Should we see if Little Miss? Oh, it's a lad. Wants a jalebi. I don't think dogs eat them, but he's an Indian dog, so he must like Indian sweets. So I'm going to get the gulab jamun. Another snack that we've never tried. We've tried jalebi, but we've not tried this. They're all good, aren't they? Please can we get one gulab jamun, please, sir? Yeah, um, just two, 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 yeah. So what are they? What are these made of? This is all pure ghee. Pure ghee again? Yeah. Okay, in sugar like syrup. It. Okay, thank you so much. Wow, that's so that's hot. <laughs> I would say that is the best jalebi we have eaten worldwide, yeah. I will, I'm not just saying it, I will actually. I mean it, I mean it. Sometimes they're like chewy and a bit like meh. No, it's really good. Mm. That's really hot, that one just giving me. Oh, well, quite. Not in America, are you? Mm. Mm. I'm telling you, people, don't get better than that. Yeah. Is the dog begging for some jalebi? Yeah. Did you give him some? No. Tell the truth. I have a little bit. It's very dog Mate, I mean, as much as I want to give you the jalebi, I think he might give you diarrhea. Or mate, you will. <laughs> we don't want that, do we? Sometimes he knows the best things. Come out of price. Yeah. Right, come on, let's try this. Right, so let's cut these in half. Gulab jamun. Oh, let's get a better bit than that. That was pathetic. So these look super spongy and cakey inside, which I'm guessing is going to have absorbed all that sweet goodness. Cheers. So what? Wow. That is good. That is fun. Oh, it's it's key, you know? it super it's sweet. It's proper Desi Ghee, baby. Like it's not It's like a cake. Yeah. That's just been like doused in sweet beauty. <laughs> hey, I'm just going to eat the whole thing. Why not? I'm, I'm really liking it. I'm glad that we've tried this here. Because I imagine this is really good or really bad. Well, good luck. Oh, no. We found Perth. Ghee. Ghee. Right. It's got a heavy ghee taste, well, obviously, because that's what it is like, but... Right. Ghee has a very distinct taste for me. Which one do you think's better? That. It's more like a cake. Oh, I like jalebi more. Oh, perfect. I'll eat this, you can eat the jalebi. What is the price, sir? 50 rupees. 50, okay, perfect. I've got a 50 on my pocket. In my pocket, even. Very good. This man that is the dessert champion. And the best time. Best time. The best though. But I've got to say, this jalebi is the best I've yes. had. Best I've had, mate. Thanks so much. Good luck. See you later. Good lad, in. Good man. I'm really debating getting some to take back out. No, no. They'll, they'll, go, they'll go horrible. So, people, I'm going to have to shout. Let's go and see what else we can get here in Amritsa. So let's bloody go. Okay everyone, let's get a little bonus food in here. So our mate on the corner is selling something called Champ, which to be honest, I'm quite unsure what it is. I think it's some type of soy based item. You can see he's got them all hanging up. There's a white one, red one and a green one. Now. We've got a green one on the grill. 
And to be fair, this looks fantastic. We're just chatting to a man and he said, it's like a proper local spot this, like not a tourist spot. This is where all the locals are coming. Leech has actually just had the red one. The red one. And the masala champ. And we didn't film it, but it was fantastic. It was really good. I just thought, nice. let's give you a bonus food, eh? So we'll wait for this green one. They also do fried paneer. And you know we love paneer, so I might get that as well. So here's the different flavours. We've got Malai Champ, which is the white one. Masala Champ, which is what Leech had, the spicy one. And then I'm getting Hayali Champ. I don't know what it is, but... That's sometimes the beauty of it, isn't it? If you don't know what it is, try it, see how it is. What a spot. He's hard working, he's busy. He's got customers. So just takes it off that skewer after it's been barbecued and I tell you what, he's barbecuing, he's charring it up nicely. Cuts it up, throws it in a bowl and mixes it with all kinds of stuff. Butter, butter. Mix it with butter and bits and bobs. Bit of cream as you've just seen, some fresh cream. And then that's it, gives it a whisk. So here is ours, the green one here. We'll see what goes in. Is this butter, sir? Butter? Butter. Butter, yeah. Okay. Butter masala cream. Right, I tell you what. India. The only country that can make soy products taste good. Thank you very much. Alright, go on, Leash. Have first bite. Really honest. Can I just say that this is so hot? You just did it. It's come fresh off that grill. Got to re respect that. We've also got to respect that India can make vegetarian food that's worth eating. Hold tight, India. Let's just get some then. Go on. Mm. It smells really good. So look at that. Looks like avocado. Let's have a try. This one's a lot milder than mine, though. The red one. This one's a bit saltier. Yeah. So the red one, it's got a nice kick to it, it's quite spicy. This one's more creamy and mild. Still delicious though. Mm. And then we got this little green chutney as well to go with it. What is it? It's not, it is a little bit salty all the green one, I've got to be honest. The red one was better. red one was better. I don't know why, I like that texture. It's not like tofu at all, it's like... Yeah, it's got a bite to it. Yeah, it's yummy. Now, Leisha just spotted behind here. We've got a, we've got a tea, man. Raj tea stall. So we might grab a tea as well. And I'm going to get some of this fried tofu. Because another customer said you need to try it. It's really good. Not fried tofu. We're definitely not getting fried tofu. We're getting fried paneer. That's what we're going to get. I don't know what I'm talking about. Why is the word tofu coming out of my mouth? Let's see if we can take a look in here. Oh, I don't know what that is. So you can see he's got his little frying gear. And they sell all kinds of it. They sell like cheese sticks. Tania tikka. Some type of mushroom raw, I don't know. They sell all kinds of stuff. So up in here, they've just gone for a swim in that fryer. That looks top. There's some onion and pepper on there as well. Whoa! <laughs> Bit of a splash pack. Some um, pepper on there, it looks well good. Green pepper. Wow. I think you're just gonna light fry this, you know. Give it a little bit of a crispy skin. This is a top corner. There's so much food just on this little corner and everything's well good. Look, we've got tea, man, with a teapot there. We will be on that. Wow, that was literally like, what, one minute in the fryer? Ready. Give it a bit of a dusting with some seasoning. And then we're rock and rolling. Here we go everyone. Easy as you like. Ready. Bit of chutney. Okay. Thank you so much. There we go. Looking beautiful. That's going to be hot I think. So it's just come out of the fryer. Let's try it anyway. Which bit do we grab? So there we've just got the pepper and the onion. Oh, what should we do? Should we try the pepper? Oh, it's hot. So hot. Oh my God. 
Well, that. Well, we'll go. Green pepper. It's all good. Now, the paneer. How can we get some? Get, maybe use this stick if you want. Let's use these sticks. Good idea. I'm being silly. I so there the we go. Is tamarind on the right. Mint, right, so tamarind. Okay, there we go. So we're just going to try on its own first. So look at that. Fried beautifully. Let's pick it up properly. Oh gosh, every time you pick it up, it tips to the other side. So here we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Inside super soft paneer. Got crispy outside. No, it's not hot. Only been lightly fried. That's well good, that. They are doing paneer right in India. So look at it, you get a decent bit as well. 50 rupees for a little plate. Right. So we'll tuck it and then we'll get a tea. This one. Okay. So everyone, it'd be absolutely rude to not get a cup of chai. So here we go. Here we go, I should say. Oh man, it looks like an absolute legend. Look at this. Proper tea station, tea corner. Say what, I love watching them make tea in India. Especially when they make it in this big pot, like so. And it all bubbles up. What is that? Cardamom? All right. What is that? We'll leave it a mystery. I'll let our mate do his magic. Quite a few things go into this, you know. It's not just a bit of classic um, tea. Gosh, that's like four or five different things. That's cardamom. So he's crushing some cardamom now. Yeah, it's not so simple. I guess that's why it tastes so good, because it isn't so simple. You've got all them good spices in. Hey, look, sit round here, this little corner. This spot, fantastic. The champ, surprisingly very good, very tasty. The actual soy product itself, obviously doesn't really taste of anything. But it's got like a firm texture and the flavouring, like everything he's put in there is delicious. Like what it's been coated in. So here we go, fresh cup of tea that's probably a million degrees, yeah. 100 degrees. That man makes that tea with a little back in town. That looks like a good brew. That looks like a decent brew. It looks like dark. I'd wear it. It's coming straight off his fucking boiling pan. That's like corn, man. Ooh. That's a ginger. Was that what he smashed first? Ginger? Smash some ginger, then put some cardamom in as well. Really good. I love this corner, it's so cool. You this is the best corner cliff, ever. Come on and just try everything. Makes for a perfect snack fest. Late night snack feast here in India. It does come alive at night, like these streets, they just food just appears everywhere. We just met our mate here, he said we can try a little bit of the white one. I'll get the smallest piece, yeah. I don't want to pinch your tea, just a little bit. This is the white one. Oh, it's very mild. But it's good. It's delicious. Thank you so much. The white one is super mild. Hey! Is, said he doesn't speak English. Look! Thank you so much. Nailing it, ain't it? Very kind, man. So the white one's really mild, it's just like creamy, like really, really mild. Yeah, like almost mayo-y. Very mild. So yeah. I was just saying to my mate, I told him, he's looking tip top notch tonight. Everyone in Punjab, it's just the style, they're proper trendy. They always have baggy pants on. Trendy lads. So let's try the tea. Leash just flipping drank it all, it must have been good. Well, that, that's what I got left with everyone. Excuse that's me, how everyone, much tea I got everyone, left with. Everyone, off camera, Ellis said, I only want a sip. That's a sip, so don't complain. That, that is a fib. That isn't a fib. <laughs> I'm lying, but let's try it. It smells super gingery. Pardon me. Hey, that's a good brew, that. It's got a deep spice running through it. That's a good brew. Hey, 
seconds on that. That, that is a top brew. I'd even say it's one of the better brews we've had in India because it's a lot to it. There's all those spices. It's the ginger, isn't it? It's the ginger. The ginger makes the tea. But it's not too ginger. It's really good. And it's not too sweet. Hello. Hello. Your tongue's hanging out, mate. Are you alright? You're waiting for someone to give you something here, aren't you? Yeah? Bloody hell. Pop. I've got one more thing to add. The bloke who runs the paneer stall, the champ stall, is a 20 year old. Good lad. Proper young business owner. I appreciate that. Let's get some more of that. Top stuff. Really good as well. Humble young lad. We're on our way to some more spots. So we're gonna get that Amrit Sari fish fry. Maybe a lassie. We were gonna walk, but then our mate pulled up and just said, do you want a ride? Gave us an honest price. I respect it. So here we go, next spot of the day, Ashoka Fish Corner. Hello, how are we doing? So we're gonna get some fried fish. Amrit Sari fried fish. Hello. So you can see the fish is being done fresh. Fish fried. Yeah, yeah. I'm just having a look. Now, the interesting thing is here, they fry the fish in mustard oil, I believe. It should taste good. Okay, cheers. We'll have a look, okay? We'll look at the menu, eh? Okay, this this is the best best fish best fish fry I'm reached, sir. Number one. Okay. He's gonna tell us, but Grammage. We'll just get a little bit just to try it. There's three fish. Really? Oh three different types you can pick. Sol, Singara, Mali. Uh, which fish most delicious? Sol, Singara, Mali. Singara. Singara? Singara? Okay. Please can we get small portion singara? Just just small. One piece. How much one piece? Two, two, two fifty grams. Two, two fifty grams. Okay, yeah. Okay. Two fifty gram. Okay. So in the window we can see some of the freshly fried fish. And it is boneless. I think they're like boneless fillets as well. Hello. What is this? Hello. Oh, this is the fish. This Singara. Singara. Is this from Amritsar? Like river? River fish. Oh, fresh fish. Okay, man. It looks good. Okay, super. Cheers. So, we're getting some freshly fried fish. River fish. Super. Let's see, where's Leash gone? We've lost her, she's in here. You've been offered to try the lad's fish? Yeah, try it. Everyone's got this. Singara? Yeah. The man just showed me this Singara in his like, uh, big, big uh, cooler box. It looks quite good to be fair. Hello sir, how are you? What is this? Uh, early try? You sure? This is Singara? Singara. Wow. And no bones? No bones. No bone, okay. No Go on, Leash, get some of that. We'll do our. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, it's so hot. Right. So before we even got our food, these kind gentlemen are giving us some of this. Oh, yeah. Hey. That's good fish, that. What is this? Um, fizzy drink? Uh, drink whiskey. Whiskey? Whiskey. Oh, no whiskey. No, thank you. Whiskey? Whiskey. No whiskey. No, thank you. Don't worry. I've got to sleep. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Look, the lads are offering us the whiskeys. The reason being is, after this, we're heading to a lassie shop. And I couldn't think of anything worse than whiskey and lassie in my belly. England, sir. England. England. Where are you from? Amrit, sir? Punjab? Punjab? Okay. Punjabi, Bali Bali. Ah, okay. I'm Indian. Indian man, yeah. First, my Indian, second term Punjabi. Punjabi, okay. Now, I, 
The reason I say no whiskey is because we eat fish and then we go to drink lassie. And whiskey, lassie? No good. Yeah, yeah. No good, no good. No good. Beer? No, not lassie, lassie. Lassie? Fish and then lassie, lassie don't yeah, worry. But good. thank you very much. Very good, very good. Thank you. So, just eat this. Radish. Oh, that fish is absolutely stupendous. And a green one. Green chutney? Yeah, some radish and some mayonnaise we just brought over. Okay. You know what? I'm really looking forward to this. We have not eaten them. Fried fish like this in so yeah, long. It's well good, like proper white fish. It's just really funny because when the taxi driver drops off, he's like, uh, uh, this isn't a family restaurant. I don't think you want to eat it here. I think you're probably worried for our stomachs, but. Thank you, we can handle it, can't we? Thank you. A lot of freak shows also try and take you to the restaurants, but I think you get commission. Let me know. But we've um, we've um, come into this legendary spot. Like it is legendary. Look, look at the plugs on wall. Like the menu: Sol, Singada, Mali. Fresh, fresh, fresh fish. Yeah. <coughs> you see, everyone's just sucking in. Why does everyone love whiskey? Oh, they love it, don't they? Wow, thank you so much. Great. Oh, what is on the top? Like a, a little sprinkle? No? Okay, it looks good. So I'll just show you everyone what we've got. Nice little plate with these boneless pieces of Singara fish. It smells so good. Get a flipping whiff on that leaf. It's too hot to eat though. It's like potatoes. It's like chips, doesn't it? Scallops. It's too hot. So what have we got? We got mayo, radish, and this little green chutney. What is it like? Mint, chili, bits and bobs. Oh, go on, give us the fish reveal in there, leaf. Got that nice white fish fill. Super crispy. And it's in fried in mustard oil. It's really tasty. It's so juicy. Oh my god, it's hot. It's really good. Well, let's try some then. Check this out. Look at that proper juicy fish. We're going to stick it not into the mayo, we're going to go for green chutney. Right, look at that. This looks good. I mean, it's super soft on the inside, like juicy. Outside, proper crispy. It's dried to perfection, you could say. Wow, um, so That's just so good. Let's get a bit of radish to cool everything off. That is proper good, man. How's that chilling? Good. Chutney's fresh. He sprinkled some magic dust over the top, and I don't know what it is. But anyway, can you see? That's how much you get. That's 250 grams. I think that is actually 350 rupees for this. We're balling out tonight. Going out with a Thank you very much, thank you. Nice to meet you lads. Enjoy your night, yeah? Okay. So people, as you can see to my right, and by everyone in there, maybe the auto man didn't want us to go in there, because it's the local boozer. Everyone just brought a bottle of whiskey, whiskey and fish. The local boozer, you have some fish fry. Get some spirits down you. 350 sir? 350? Perfect, thank you so much, it was well done. Fish are well done. Best fish fry ever, that. Proper. Cheers. Honestly, people, I'm not even just saying it, that. I mean, just look at that, look at it bubbling away. Just one last look. Wow. Smells good as well. Like, smells very good. Oh, check it out, people. Oh, super. Thank you so much, goodbye. That, that fish, right? Smells good, tastes good, fantastic. I could eat that every day. Well, good. Oh gosh, we got a dog nearly getting run over following us. Get out, robot! Oh, because Leash is feeding it. 
a tiny bit of fish. You see, the fish might have been that good as well. We have to share it. But we can always share the tiniest bit with our mates, can't we? Yeah, enjoy it. Yeah. Right, so everyone, now we've completed the Amritsari fish fry. Uh, I mean, for me, that's an highlight of our time here, that. Good atmosphere, good people. Everyone's there offering us whiskey. <laughs> Proper boozer, but like I said, we're having a lassie. <laughs> Can't be having yogurt and whiskey mixing about in my belly. So let's go down here. Now we think about it, I'd actually like to see where the fish come from, like the actual river they come from. To see what it's like, see how clean it is. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't really care because it tasted fucking well good. But I'm just saying, I'd like to actually see where they get them from. So here, it seems it's a very famous lassie shop, or a very well-known one, because there's a queue, look, it's packed. I mean, usually I can't be asked waiting. We'll see, we'll see, maybe this is one big family. If it takes, if it's a queue, we'll, just, we'll go somewhere else. There's two lassie shops here, right? One over there that's got a massive crowd outside. And if you know us, we can't be asked with that, because these two shops sell the exact same thing. Our man here is super nice, humble, he's a humble man and we respect the humble man. So we're here with the underdog. So we've got a proper lassie, 60 rupees a glass, look, full glass, and all the dairy goodness on top. What actually is that? Maybe I should ask it. Is it curd? It's just like pure curd. Yeah. Excuse me, sir, you know what on top? Is this, this is just pure curd? I got a cream. Cream, like pure cream? Soft cream. The top of the creek, like yeah. pro. Oh, all right, all right. Okay, thank you so much. Oh, bloody, I lost leash. So it's just like pure, like proper dairy products, isn't it? Like the real deal. Have you tried it? No, I haven't. I'm dying to. What? Well, are you going to mix that in a bit or have a munch I'm, on it? I'm going to sip it first without mixing that in. Oh, is it? Is it sweet? It's so good, yeah. It's sweet. Look, it's, it's so creamy. thick, isn't it? You've got a load of that in there. Like, <laughs> if I've left it in the like I've never a, had that much in there. It's like a meal, that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pinch that off you. Yeah, it looks well try good. It. Give me a minute. Go on, I'm pinching it. Is it good? It just smells like it. smells super fresh. You don't have any tip. Maybe the local store is going next door. Yeah. You know the locals are coming here. Right. Right. That is true, because everyone next door has the rented, not rented, the, the bandanas on that you get when you come and visit the Golden Temple. The one I wore when we visited, and in here, this is just the OGs, you know, the legends. I'm not getting like big bags of them. The front, the stuff? Yeah. So here we go, let's try this last bit. look at that. Oh, it's so good. It tastes like cows. And that's how you know it's good. Like I was drinking it and then a, a lump just like kind of stopped me from drinking it. But like, this is proper. This is, this is proper dairy stuff. Oh, it's really good, you know. It's sweet, but it's not like ridiculously sweet. Oh, that's good, that. Once you drink this, right, you go out to England and you order a lassie in like the Indian. It's not going to cut it, is it? You can't do it. You just can't. You can't go back. Show us in there again one last time. Show us the goods. Look at that. It doesn't taste like um, fake yogurt. Oh, sugar. So we'll finish this. That's like a proper meal, that. We'll finish it. And then we'll move on. I like it here, though. It's all it's simple, old school. we got the old pictures on the wall. You can see straight into the back. Getting some live action for you. Look at this. Look how thick that stuff is. Wow. In this little vat. Hey, this is good stuff, this. So that everyone's, so, not everyone, but some people are getting something else on it. Like, they're getting a bit of a brown one. What is this? Excuse me, sir. 
Yes, what is this lassi you have? Do you know? Pera lassi. What is that? Making the pera lassi. Oh, is that is that very good? Uh, different shop, different lassi. Different lassi. Oh, okay, right. So there's another one here. I don't know what it is, but it looks very good. This shop is old and famous lassi. This is old famous lassi. How many year? Old famous and old master. Oh, we got all pictures on the wall. How many years here? Yeah. Nineteen twenty-one. Oh, nineteen twenty-one. Yeah. Hundred and three years. Hundred and three. Shocked me with that one. Nineteen twenty-one. That's so long ago, isn't it? <laughs> Top quality, that. Thanks so much. Please, can we? Try one of those biscuits. One just one, yeah, just to try. So we spotted these biscuits and we don't know what they are. But they look good and everyone's getting them. Yes, thank you. What is this made of, you know? Beda. Beda? Uh, oh, okay, like a milk biscuit. So. Thank you so much. Yeah. Fresh. It right. smells very good. It smells like cinnamon. Oh, it is super soft. It almost, it's almost soggy. Oh, it's kind of yeah. crumbled. Oh, it's really so let's see. Very good. Mm. Milk. Mm. Tastes like, it's like a dry milk biscuit. A bit like fudge. Like a proper clotted oh, it's like cream fudge. Like yeah. You can tell it's fresh. Well, the way he smiled when he told us about it being fresh, he tells me it's good stuff. Delicious pin, Matt. Sorry, that's how good it is. That flavour is just really good. I don't know why I'm showing you the empty thing, but. I think this is the same. Really? Yeah. Like a liquidy form. Yeah. Thank you very much. Very good. Okay. Try this as well. This is the Thank this is the same. Milk cream. Milk cream. Yeah, milk cream. Oh, Thank you so much. So, let's try this. Mm. It is good. It's like a milder version of the biscuit. Like a sloppy form. Then biscuits. I was about to say I could eat ten of them, but actually I couldn't because they're very sickly. Very good though. So here we go, Giandi Lassi, 1921. You know what I mean, you've got the pictures on the wall. Legendary spot. Whoa, what's he doing in the back? What's he making there? Excuse me, sir. Yes, sir. What is he making in the back? Milk Milk Wow. Can I have a quick look? Yeah. Okay, no problem. I've got to be nosy here, because I've just seen a man, right? Thank you so much. Hello, how's it going? You're making milk cake? So basically, I saw this guy in the back. I knew I had to come and take a look, because this is legendary. Look at this. Wow, look at that bubbling away. Hey, I need to stay. Keep my distance. Oh, sugar. Oh, yes, that's what we like to see. <laughs> Bloody half a kilo of sugar. Look at that. Right, top stuff, sir. Top stuff. Thank you so much. Cool stuff, eh? Thank you very much. Bye -bye. Goodbye. Well, he's making this. This, that. that is oh, this. this is it? Ah, no. Different, different. Oh. oh, different. You can see here's something they've made fresh recently. What have they got on there? A bit of pistachio sprinkle on top. A bit of almond. Hey, thank you. Right, let's get out of here now. I know, he said something about American Master Chef or something, I don't know. John Tirol, I don't even know who that is, who is it? He's on my cooking programs. Right, well if you know who John Tirol is, he's been. And he's on wall. Alright, so we'll clear off. But see what I mean? Thank you so much. This shop, this shop is the best. They don't know what they're doing around there. They don't have a clue. Right, it's this way, Leash. So yeah, there's a, there's a shop on the right that it's had a ridiculous queue the whole time, but the one on the left, Giandi Lassi. 
Reign Supreme. I think they've got the same name, right? And I think I think what people do, right, is if there's like an old shop or something, or like a shop gets famous, people will open a shop in the exact same name and just try and like latch onto the fame or like, I don't know, it's a bit weird. So we're gonna go down here and get hopefully one more thing to end the night in a minute when we eventually cross. Excuse me, please can I cross the road? Please can I cross the road? <laughs> Let's go, Leash. <laughs> right, just a couple of thoughts. I think what has happened there in the Lassie shops is our mate who we went to actually had the original one, 1921. And then I think maybe next door opened a shop and then somehow just became super famous. And then our mate is just, just super humble and still just there working away. But all the customers just go to the other side or all the tourists like anywhere. So then all the businesses go into the other side. But you know what? Go to our mate. He's the original, isn't he? 1921. Really humble, good man. And he, he's making top lassie. So I, I hate these famous places. It's bullshit. You have to be careful in India because all the famous places are places that are like social media heights. Yeah, they're all shit. actually crap. Yeah. yeah. If anything is famous from the internet, then it's absolute shite. All right? I'm just telling you how it is. I don't care. The shite. We've seen so many of them that are just terrible. And like, next door, we're all down the street, everyone's selling the same products. Usually better, because they don't have this famous reputation. So when the places have a famous reputation, they don't care about the standards. They know they're getting customers by the flipping boatload. So yeah. Leash is interrupting this broadcast to show you the cows on a lighter note. So I know I can see the baby cow. So we got some classic black and white cows. And then we've got a little baby down here. There she is. And a dog. A dog wants to be a cow. Bloody hell, mate. Come on, let me just look at cows in peace. I'm not harming him. We just walked past this little pool hall and a few of the lads were calling us in, so I'm just going to take a quick look. See what they're doing. All right, how are we doing? All right, mate. Go, 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 go. I've just come to have a look what you're doing. This is a pool hall. Pool, pool. Playing pool, yeah. yeah. Which you're from? England, sir. You're a vlogger? Yeah, a vlogger. Making a vlog. Okay, We're okay. doing a food tour now, but I just thought I'd come and say hello. Your vlogger name? Ellis. 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 Yeah. You do. Yeah, YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Who's the best? You or him? Yeah. yeah. Who's the best? Go on. Gear's your best shot. This is Miss. Miss. No good. No good. <laughs> I have not played pool in ages, I tell you. Right. This is, my this is your game. friend. But who is better, your friend or you? Friend, the be friend. best player, champion. Which? Him. Him? You. him? Mm. Okay. Right. There you go. There's your pool all right. Nice to see you, mate. Nice to meet you. Okay. Get one more shot. Oh. Ooh. Pressure. Camera. Pressure's on, okay. innit? That's why. Channel name. Gen channel name. Have you got your phone? I'll put it in your phone. Pressure's on. Salt camera. That were it. Tried doing a power shot. That was down, did he? Okay. 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 Right. Nice to meet you, mate. You. Okay. Enjoy your night, okay? Thanks. See you later. Yeah. Right, just a quick little look. Just wanted to look inside the pool hall. Thought there'd be loads going on, but to be fair, it's just a pool table in a room with two lads having a game of pool. Hey! Hey, I tell you what, some of these horns are too loud. They need to get them quiet and in, I swear India, right? Maybe because India is so loud and busy, there's some type of regulation where the horns on any vehicle, when they when they make them, they're louder. I, I swear, because in any other country the horn doesn't pierce your ear like it does here. What would you say about that leash? You're right, I think. You're very right. Also. They need to be taught when they learn how to drive. You don't need to hold it like that. Just a little. Oh, that's all right. It's, sub it's substantial. You know what I mean. You don't need to hold it, especially if there's nobody on the road in front of you. It's not really necessary to just hold the horn. I'm sure the Indians will disagree with that. <laughs> well, disagree. It's yeah. a way of life. They come out the womb, trying to press a horn, trying to find one. Yeah. Oi, mate. 
What are you doing on that car? That is not your... Oi! Shh! Bloody hell! They've got me told. I'm going over there telling him to shift off. And he's got me told. Gosh, that was hilarious, were not it? He had me done. He, he did me right over. King of the car. Hey, I'll be back tomorrow, you. So, we've had some absolutely cracking food tonight, but I want to know what your best food of that was. Fish fry. I'm really sorry, fish fry. Hands down, it was probably like some of the best fried fish I've ever had. Genuinely really good. It was just simple, simple fried fish, but just just on its own, it was beautiful. What about you? Jalebi. Jalebi? Yeah, cracking that jalebi, yeah. No, the dessert can't be... No, it can, and right. it will. It was wonderful. If you're not choosing second, dessert... Second, dahi puri. Dahi puri? Yeah. Okay, good choice. So yeah, it's been fantastic. Hey, had a right nice night. Everyone's been really pleasant. Just, just Indian, classic Indian atmosphere. It's been top, yeah. So cheers for watching. It's in a bit. We've got a man walking his dog, and his dog's a bit mental, yeah. No, obviously not. Look at it. It's trying to run off. It'll eat your arm off. Hey, you won't catch me touching that one. Look at it. It's off its chops.